Well, hi there. Uh, the end of another week, and uh, we're moving towards uh, 40 days of prayer, which will start on Sunday. And so I just wanted to have a few words about that and encourage you to participate in any way that you can. So uh, for the next uh, six Sundays, our uh, Sunday morning, we'll be focusing on the 40 days of prayer campaign. Uh, as will some of our home groups, uh, there's an opportunity uh, to catch up with me of a morning uh, for uh, a, a daily thought. Uh, we'll leave the Psalms for a bit and uh, begin to look at 40 days of prayer. Uh, there'll be daily readings in association with that. We're also planning uh, a 7.30pm Zoom meeting so that uh, we can uh, pray together and uh, have a brief conversation about uh, what we talk about in the morning. And all that is contained in this book, the 40 Days of Prayer book. And uh, you can pick one of those up uh, at the office and uh, go through it. It's got uh, places to write for the sermons, uh, small groups, studies and also uh, the daily readings. So I hope you can join us for 40 days of prayer. It, it is, I hope, something that will help us connect, help us uh, be more relational in this time of isolation and where uh, maybe things are heading in a better direction or maybe they're not. For the rest of our time this morning, I wanted to talk about how we're feeling in, in these days. Uh, this all began in March, just before Easter. Um, COVID became real and restrictions were put on us. And uh, I just wonder how you've been travelling in that time. Um, how, what sort of emotions you've been experiencing. You know, um, many of us, uh, particularly in Dubbo, would say, hey, you know, there's, it's not that, that different. We're cruising along okay. Uh, not that isolated. Seeing plenty of people except for a few inconveniences as life goes on. But I think if we dig a little bit deeper, we might uh, talk about having a sense of fatigue because of this. Maybe on occasion, some of us have felt a little bit angry. Uh, some of us have had some anxiety from time to time, and, and certainly for many, there's been some sadness. And, and, and I think if we're honest with ourselves, um, We've experienced some of these things, and I know I have. I've experienced them all, really, uh, on different occasions. And I guess for me, the, the thing that has impacted me the most is um, the decisions that I make about church and, and the planning for the future. What's it gonna, what is it going to look like? And what is the sort of basis for making those decisions? So that certainly caused me some, some anxiety and a sense of fatigue. The unfortunate thing is, if we're experiencing some of those emotions, it, it kind of triggers a mood. Maybe it impacts our relationships. Um, maybe um, it even impacts the way we function in life. Uh, so managing COVID uh, is, is a big thing for us. And we might have those negative emotions. But... Um, you know, Paul tells us that we should be choosing joy and, and we should be rejoicing in all circumstances. In Philippians 4, verses 4 to 7, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ. You know, this um, joy is not something that we, we need to artificially create, but it comes from a close walk with God. It comes from the hope that we have in eternal life. It, it comes from the fact, uh, the hope that we have in God being sovereign. You see, COVID didn't catch God off guard. And so we can have hope in him. The frustrations of day-to-day -day life are still there, but the ultimate hope is ours to embrace. Well, look, let me just finish by saying uh, I would encourage you to have a conversation about uh, how you're feeling. Um, do that today. Uh, this has been a week where some people have talked to extensively about mental health. Well, are you, are you doing okay? Uh, I would encourage you to have a conversation with someone today, to tell them how you've been feeling. Are you feeling fatigue, anger, anxiety, sadness, something else in this time? We'll talk about it. If you can't find someone to talk about it with, 
give me a call. I'd love to love to be that person. Bye for now and join us for 40 days of prayer.